Oh, hello, this is Jim Rizm, Total Nerdy Channel. And today we will do something not too simple, even though you might imagine it is very simple, or it's rather simple, but to make it good. We are going to make a good shuttle in Star Maid. Because you see that uh, making a good shuttle is uh, something that's uh, quite much sta status status uh, on the servers that you can show off that you well am able to have a good shuttle and well everybody got good ships but shuttles is a bit, bit more rare so we will spawn a core and wait for that then we will actually fly out into space so we will throw on a thruster and a on top, like that, because we don't have space. Well, you see that um, having a good shuttle is not something everybody has. Many just spawn a simple three block ship like this. Um, what you will need to think of when making a shuttle is the weight. You want to have your shuttle light because your shuttle will not likely face combat. You will however have it covered so that maybe you can have one hit from... Well, basically someone with a handgun, handgun should not be able to take it down. Anyways, you go into here and I will just show you something. Because weight is one of the most important things. To keep it light, you will need to avoid heavy things. Like you see here, mass is 0 0.1, hull is 0 0.5, standard 0 0.15, advanced 0 0.25. 0 0.25, that's quite much. Uh, regular system blocks have 0 0.1. So 0 0.25 is quite much, and you see the motherboard every motherboard and such never waits like anything and the red hull is super light also so let's go to creative to make things simpler for us we will of course set up symmetry plane that's enough and then we will want to build a simple shape um, and also with your shuttle is you want to have room in your shuttle so you can sit in it basically well maybe you want to bring someone with you or something like that you will need to have the space uh, you can save lots of space in the shuttle uh, you will not likely need any more than two power reactor modules because well your shuttle is going to be very small so I decided to build the eye outline with uh, Serity's motherboard and then change the parts to well, hull in the parts that are fitting and remember to use glass as your transparent material as uh, crystal armor is as heavy as advanced armor so you might not want that. Uh, most shuttles will, uh, your average shuttle will be so small that you will not be able to fit a USD. If you make a little bigger shuttle, you can afford, of course fit a USD, but your average shuttle may use underside dock instead to land at flat surfaces without lagging, because just landing your ship on a planet or such will create much lag. And if you're playing on a Newtonian physics server, uh, maybe somebody would push out your vehicle and it will uh, continue forever if you have not docked it. So I will, I will basically design this and I'll be back. Also, blast doors are as heavy as advanced armor, so use glass doors or plex doors. Alright, I have designed a shape that I like for the shuttle with four doors on the sides so we will start adding some systems. Let's begin with installing some energy generation, we put that there and I believe that hmm, six or maybe nine thruster modules will do just fine. So we throw on 
let's have a couple more in here. Let's have an eye. And this should work completely fine. Now we see that our power is just too little. So for this amount of thrusters we need one power module more. Let's use their decorativeness and we add two more like that. Could look nice. So what we need to do now is inside here add a couple of welches to be able to sit on. And then we'll also want to do the final design. Then we will be looking at some other systems that are good to have in a shuttle. So let me just fix that. Alright, now I'm happy with the design of it. And we even have some balance with the purple lightning there and there. So, basically we now want to have some good systems on it. One thing that you absolutely would want is a stop computer. Uh, with the stop, stop, compu stop computer you will not anymore be bothered with gravity. And this ship is so small that I believe that it will be, let's move that, it will be sufficient oops, with uh, two stop effect modules. Let's unset that, like a computer, and two modules. We go in here, can drag it down, and we can see, let's see here, 100%. Yep, so that's how to neglect gravity. When flying this currently, it looks like that, therefore we need a camera, which we will put there. And you can even see it has a nice back texture. You will likely put your shuttle here and there on uh, non-faction stations and things like that. Then you might want to make the quite expensive investment of a faction module. So that can be really useful to have. So nobody can steal your shuttle. And here is a little useful trick for you. Actually, shield capacitators are not needed for super light shield. Every entity has 200 shields by default. So we just add a shield recharger and you will see it will slowly lo load up to its 200. The reason you want to have that is basically that if somebody shoots a one shot of laser uh, handgun to you, you will not want to need to repair your ship just because of that. Like we can even do a test and <laughs> it, it better be working. Let's use one of the lighter weapons and we can fire here. You see, the shield could take it. Fire again. Basically we will be able to sustain light fire. So, just add one of those. If you're paranoid, you can of course add lots of uh, shield capacitators also. So, now there are only two things more that I'd like to show you. One of the things are that on a shuttle you might want to have overdrive. So your shuttle will go faster. Um, basically, you spawn a computer and you spawn a module and uh, this will not be 100% I believe nope, it's 14% so you need more of those but, well, we will basically test the current features of the shuttle and I will show you the last step in making a very nice shuttle well, I don't want overdrive on this one because I want to show you something else. Now you can see that, well, it's lagging and stuff, but we have no problems conquering gravity because we have anti-gravity. But uh, we can deactivate it and we will fall like everybody else and we need to hold shift to be able to control ourselves. That's kind of boring, so we just activate the anti-gravity. And we go into, whoops, that's the wrong one, the T menu, drag out down our rail docker. Because the last things that you might want to know when building shuttles, we need to be docked. Alright, now we are docked and 
clear. Yep, we fit perfectly. Go into your menus and find jump drive. So, you might think that jump drives are too much of a system to have on a little shuttle and in that you are completely right. But there is a trick. You see, we spawn one module here. We can actually have as many modules as we see fit, so we will add a couple of more. One there, and I believe that we want to have one. Yeah, maybe one there also. So now we have three jump drives, and there is no way that our power could support it. That's completely right. If we undock ourselves, go into the T menu, drag down the jump drive, and try to load it. We basically ditch in power in a few seconds and basically we're out. Power failure. That's not what we want, but you see here. Let's dock ourselves. Now we can load our jump drives using the energy from the planet. So if you're docked on something, you can use your jump drive and load them up while docked. Uh, on the station, on a planet, on another ship, you can steal their power for loading your jump drives. When you're charged, you can basically undock and fly away. And just when you feel for it, you just jump. Isn't that fantastic? Now, of course, uh, you will want to have a destination you jump to because if you jump out in empty air like I did, you will not be able to really reload your jump drive really efficiently. So I will use creepy ways of taking myself, taking myself home anyways. But of course, um, you can always have a raider jammer on your ship. That doesn't hurt if you meet pirates or think that you will meet pirates, it can be good. But I believe that this concludes the shuttle tutorial from Jimrism Industries, if to so say. So thank you very much for watching, this is Jimrism out. Uh,